Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us on your Wednesday morning. Heading up there this morning, you might want to coat as these temperatures. They're going to be a little chilly out there. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s to start off our day. The good news is you can lose that coat pretty quickly as these temperatures are going to be warming up very quickly throughout the day. Mid 50s expected by the lunch hour. We see the temperatures this afternoon top out in the mid 60s here in the Tri Cities. A lot of us should be in the 60s today. Maybe some 70s for the south and west. Then we'll cool down eventually. We see those 50s return in around the supper time hour or so. Live look at Hastings. This morning on our Vieira wireless camera there. Nice, quiet, fairly calm morning. 31 degrees, chilly at times, but southwest free winds at 7 miles an hour. Those winds will pick up throughout the day. Should increase those temperatures quite a bit, but they are chilly right now. It's 20 at North Platte. A little bit warmer, 28 right now at Kearney, as it is in Overland, Kansas. A little bit warmer yet off to north and west, 35 right now up in the Thedford area. So temperatures, they'll be warming up quickly. Once again, highs should be in the 60s, maybe some 70s farther south and west, although it doesn't seem like it'll get there with these wind chills out there in the teens right now. The good news is those winds are light. You shouldn't have to worry about any wind chills for too much longer as those winds will pick up out of the south and west as they are right now. Five to 10 miles an hour those winds are at. Wind chill again should be around 10 to 15 miles an hour out of the southwest this afternoon. So a nice light breeze, a warm breeze at that. We'll take the warm weather while it lasts because unfortunately, well, not going to last too long. Otherwise, expect a mainly sunny skies for today. Got a few clouds entering parts of northern Nebraska right now. Moving off to the south and east, we'll see a good mix of sunshine and clouds. Today. Mainly some more sunshine, though, in the forecast for today as high pressure remains over the area. Unfortunately, not going to remain over the area for too much longer. A cold front that moves in later on tonight. Wait, early tomorrow morning. We're unfortunately going to drop our temperatures for Thanksgiving. Temperatures right now for tomorrow and Thanksgiving look to be in the 30s and low 40s for a lot of us. And we also have to watch our next system moving in off to our north and west. A low pressure system over the Rockies will develop again late tomorrow. Could see a little bit of snow maybe in our far northwestern areas again late tomorrow afternoon and evening. Not a whole lot in the way of tomorrow night. I think more of that snow will come into the picture again Friday and more so on Saturday. I think Saturday will actually be the day where you do end up getting the most snow. Now, as of right now, our highest snow totals look to be along uh, I-80 and south of there as well. I'd say probably west of Highway 183, probably that bullseye over southwest Nebraska, northwest Kansas, lined up to get more of that snow, maybe four to eight inches in some spots as well. But here in the Tri-Cities, probably talking maybe up to two inches at most right now. Of course, a lot can change over the next couple of days, but definitely we'll be tracking this over the next day or two and give you the latest details when we get them. Otherwise, enjoy the warm weather today. Again, 65 for an afternoon. Nine. Looks beautiful. Make the most of it. Unfortunately, it's not going to last long. Cold front moves through tonight, a little near 29 of the cold front brings along north winds with it and temperatures tomorrow just 39 for thanksgiving a bit breezy as well of course mainly cloudy skies later on in the day be seeing temperatures today 50 60s some 70s to our southwest enjoy it once again temps again tonight mainly the 20s and 30s around the area and temperatures tomorrow a lot colder for us 30s and low 40s for the most part we'll be seeing temperatures even colder towards the end of the week of the week here that is 20s and 30s again, both Friday and Saturday. Of course, if you go into the Husker game, dress warm. It's going to be a cold one at that. I think once again, our big snow day here in the tri cities will come on Saturday. Once again, doesn't look like a whole lot, maybe an inch or two, at least right now. I think most of that snow will stay off to our south and west. But temperatures do try and warm up once that snow clears out for the start of next week. Of course, dependent on those temperatures, or depending on the amount of snow we get, those temperatures uh, will be so be tracking that next system coming in for us on Friday, Sarah.